Hi, I'm Dave Lane from Besotted. Um, I want to talk to you about Alan Judge. Um, Rumours of him going to Newcastle this week came as a bit of a surprise to us. Um, I think Alan's been looking to leave Brentford for well the last couple of transfer windows, but to to kind of see those rumours kind of manifest themselves with Newcastle United while he's still not playing football, he's got a busted leg still. Um, it kind of took us a little bit of surprise, but um, uh, as I say, the the player. Um, he's been looking to get away. Um, he's been brilliant while he's been at Brentford since he since he arrived from uh, Blackburn Rovers three or four years ago. And no, no one could really fault his attitude. He's he, he, he's t he's one of the players that helped take us to a different level. Um, for him to get called up by Republic of Ireland in the build up to the Euros was was probably one of the proudest moments of his life. And it was just really gutting to see that leg break um, that was sustained at uh, Ipswich. Uh, not only shatter his leg, it, it shattered his dreams of of, uh, of being in the Euros. Um, Euro twenty sixteen could have been um, one of one of his you know one of his life's highlights. Um, hopefully, he's got a lot of highlights left. Um, he, he's a kind of player. Uh, he's he's a he's a kind of high impact, high energy player. Gets the ball, loves running with the ball at his feet. He he loves freedom. Um, we always wondered how we would he how he might fit into the Irish team because. They're, 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 they're not as flair, they haven't got the, the same flair as, as kind of Brentford and the way we play football, they, they, it's a very different style. He, he would probably have to be, he'd probably have to fit into, um, you know, a, a more kind of structured uh, instruction. Um, at Brentford, Alan, Alan Judge has been allowed to have that freedom. Um, he's reveled in it um, and he's sometimes probably driven his manager mad. Um, they've probably told him to to stick to one position and he's probably roamed all over the pitch but he always pops up with a goal he he's he's someone who can create something from nothing and you know those kind of players are, are, they don't, you don't come across them that often um losing Allen would be a huge blow to us um but saying that he's due his contract runs out at the end of this season so we're you know we're kind of resigned to the fact that we we probably seen the last of him um we were kind of excited to, you know, expect maybe four or five games before Christmas um, and hope he was, you know, playing a part in, in helping us secure our championship survival again for a, for a third full year. Um, but that's football. You know, players come, players go. We just hope that we get a decent fee for him. Um, it's important for our long-term survival is that our better players if they if and when they do go we get compensated um we are realists at brentford we know that players will come they use us as a stepping stone um they put themselves in the shop window as andre gray has done um as james tarkowski has done as david button has done um and they go on and they treble their money so um financial fair play means that we can't really compete in in the same way that Newcastle United can um, and you know if Newcastle come knocking I'm sure Alan Judge and his agent are uh, their eyes lit up so um, I hope whatever happens if it does happen that it happens quickly um, we don't we don't need this to drag out any longer than it needs to uh, so if he does go we wish him well if he stays we wish him well um, Alan Judge he scored the goal that sent us up that will never ever be forgotten so Come on, you bees.